What's up everybody? There is so much going on right now that I decided it was time just to do an update video to let everybody know what's been going on and where I have been since you saw the dino episode. Well, there's a lot going on and I'm gonna try to get through all this in one take here. So behind me you see the Tacoma. Been working on that. Um, it's mostly electronics upgrades on there. So I know a lot of people aren't interested in the Tacoma, but being electronics upgrades, these are things that I think cross over to any vehicle. So there will be an episode coming out soon. I'm gonna be doing more stereo upgrades and more lighting upgrades on it too. Um, one of my ballasts failed for my HIDs and I had to replace them both. So replacing and installing HIDs will be covered. Fixing all the wiring mess that was in there will be in there. I'm upgrading the radio. I ran new speakers to the rear doors. They have cutouts for speakers and Toyota never put them in. Instead what they did is they put stupid little speakers about that big in the headliner right over the driver and passenger front seat. Um, so those are getting ripped out and they're going to eventually be upgraded with some newer stuff in the back. I also got the front mounted dash cam that works through the radio and that's going to get installed. I found out that this shark fin antenna on the top of the truck that's for um, satellite radio and I found out that there is actually a plug right by under the on the floor right by the driver's door for that antenna and you can get an adapter cable and I can plug that into a Sirius XM uh, converter box that will plug into the radio so I will soon have satellite radio in the truck so that's going to be happening there'll be um, I'm going to show how to put a USB port in that is a factory USB port and make it work with an aftermarket radio so if you're interested in any of that stuff electronics upgrades especially you want to check that out i've also changed a bunch of the bulbs out to led lighting i'll show that off too second thing i want to mention is that i turned on ads for the videos last back in january and i finally got my first check from google um for the ad revenue 120 dollars and what i said when i turned the ad revenue on that the money i earned is going to go right back into making the show better and what I want to tell you is the first check was about $120 and what's going to happen is this is going to get replaced. This is my GoPro Hero 3. This I had this camera uh, just a couple years after I started the show. I think I got it in 2013 and it's been dead for about a year. The motherboard died. It won't turn on. The battery won't charge. So because of you guys watching the show and the revenue generated from the ads I put on, this camera is getting replaced so I will have all my GoPro cameras back. And as more rad revenue comes in, I'm going to be buying better things, better microphones. I really want to get a, a new, better main camera. And uh, someday, um, Pipe Dream, I would love to have a drone so I can do aerial photography because I've seen so many car shows now where they have drones and they can get such quality uh, pictures and shots with that. I want to get that someday. Uh, we'll go in the garage here. GTO is pretty much unchanged. It's got a new windshield now. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned that the factory windshield had a little chip right here in the black um, and that chip eventually this summer cracked right across and down there so uh, Safe Life put a new windscreen in for me replaced this weather trim here which is good because it was starting to shrink. Cars relatively unchanged. I was playing around with um, fitting different radios in here because Remember what I said, putting the Kenwood radio in the truck was going to be a test bed to see if I wanted to put the same radio in here and still not sure on that. But uh, I'm going to be making a decision pretty soon and you will see that. The big news is there will be a new episode of the show coming um, that I'm really excited about. It is going to be covering replacing every suspension component in a GTO. My friend James who lives over in Goodyear, we got his car one day. He got a Petters complete coilover kit and then all the other bushings for the car. And in one day, we replaced as much of it as we could. We got the entire front done, most of the back. We still have to film some stuff in the back. And once that's done, I'm going to edit it all together and release that video. And then if you've ever wanted to know how to change any and every suspension component in the GTO, that episode will be up for you. It'll have torque specs, um, steps, how to do it. So look forward to that because I noticed a lot of guys are doing suspension upgrades and also asking a lot of questions, um, especially torque specs. Not everybody's got the service manual. I have them. All that information will be in the video. So look for that. That's coming. Another thing to mention is I am now a published 
author, I guess. I don't know how you'd say that. Um, the National Pontiac Club has their national publication that goes out every month called Smoke Signals, uh, the POCI Club. And I decided I'm going to start doing a monthly tech article for the magazine. And it's going to cover tech tips, um, general information, and how to repair stuff on the GTO and the G8. In my new attempt to try to keep as many of these cars on the road as possible because I'm noticing more and more and more ending up in yards um, and they're getting cheaper and cheaper the kids are buying them they're turning them into just race cars and I want to see as many of them preserved as possible because I think these are going to be classics someday so I want to see as many of them kept on the road as I possibly can and if you know how to fix them that just makes that job that much easier and hopefully will encourage some traditionalists in the Pontiac community that these cars aren't so bad and they should get one someday and hopefully they'll pick one up and as I want to start doing it hashtag save a Pontiac or save a Holden maybe because they're all holding cars so that's going on as well um, also want to make an announcement to anyone in the Midwest um, in if you haven't heard yet and if you've watched my channel at all I don't know how you haven't but Pontiac Adventures is going to be taking place up in Wisconsin Dells the first weekend in October at Chula Vista Resort. That's the one my buddy Joe runs. It's going to be in its fifth year. Cruising, car show, general merriment, get together, drink beer, have fun, um, good times, beautiful driving tours, road trips. Um, some of those routes I, I, I spec'd out myself, and there are some amazing driving roads in southwest Wisconsin. So if you've got so nothing going on the first weekend in October in the Midwest, and you're looking for something to do before you put your car away for the year, that's something you should definitely check out. Myself, I am going to be going to Vegas the second weekend of October from the 12th to the 14th for Holden Run, which is the biggest Holden gathering on the West Coast. Uh, it's been going on for years and years. It used to be called Goat Run, but it's now expanded to include the G8 and the SS, and it will now be called Holden Run. So I'm going to be going to that. I'm going to be filming it, covering it, that should be a great event. Unfortunately, registration has closed for that, so you could come just to be a spectator, but you can no longer register to get into it. And I think I got about 100 cars signed up, maybe over 100 cars, so I'll be excited to go to that one. Also, I'm going to be going to SEMA at the end of the month and meeting up with some Australians in preparation for my trip there next year. So, and I will be talking to them, we'll be filming that, filming SEMA, so I'm excited about that. A um, lot of cool things coming up, including one top secret thing that I will be doing on Sunday and filming. And I don't want to say anything yet because I've got to talk to the person involved and get some more specifics about what he's okay with and what he's not okay with. But it's something big and not just for me, but for the entire GTO community. So hopefully I can get into some discussions with him and we can work out something that will be beneficial to everybody. So that's what's going on right now and um you know the new episode as soon as we get the other suspension stuff filmed that'll be up soon the stereo upgrades on the tacoma that'll be up shortly after it um so there's a lot going on and i'm excited about it so hope you uh, have enjoyed the show so far and um things should start picking up here as the temperatures come down which by the way the ac is now dead in the gto and that has to be fixed soon too so before i get too far with it but um, we'll get that taken care of eventually, and uh, it'll be back up in perfect working order. So thanks again for watching, and uh, look for those new videos soon. See you later.